What's up everyone, Chris Pinnell here from Odd Shopper going over three of my favorite prop bets over on prize picks for this weekend's race, the Coke Zero Sugar 400 at Daytona International Speedway. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and feel free to leave a comment down below with three of your favorite prop bets for this weekend's race over on prize picks. And speaking of prize picks, if you are a brand new user over there, you can use promo code AWESOME to take advantage of the awesome deal that we have going on their site where you can get an instant deposit match bonus up to $100. And you can also get a free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum to take advantage of all the premium tools that we have on the site to help you make the best selections over at prize picks, DFS, or just betting. So make sure you come in, promo code AWESOME to take advantage of all the awesome deals that we have going on right now. But anyway, getting into Daytona here, I am fully expecting a chaotic race. This is a super speedway where everyone's going to be drafting off of one another. We're going to be in a tight pack, and there's more than likely going to be a lot of wrecks. I believe we're averaging over 16 cars being in incidents over the past few seasons at Daytona. And if you watch the Xfinity Series race, it was pretty clean for the most part until the end where we started to lose a ton of cars, which is what we're probably going to see on Saturday night for this race, especially with this being the playoff cutoff race. There's a lot on the line. Drivers got to win to get in. So I'm fully expecting chaos for the most part. So you have to prepare for that when either you're playing DFS, betting, or making prize pick selections this weekend. But anyway, getting into the picks here, we'll start with the first one. It's going to be the Ross Chastain over 31 and a half NASCAR points which is basically banking on him getting a top 10 finish or better. And while I realize it's kind of tough to do at a super speedway, and the three incident free super speed races he's had so far this year, besides wrecking out at Daytona where he finished 40th earlier in the season, he has finished no worse than second. He won Talladega and finished second at both Atlanta races. He's obviously a very good super speed racer. You know, he has a ton of speed. Obviously, things are going to be different at a super speedway compared to a normal track where raw speed is not going to matter as much. But he's been able to handle the draft quite well this year. He's been able to run up front. And if he can just avoid wrecks, I do think he can finish inside the top 10 the way he has looked at super speedways so far this season. And the next prop I'm looking to take, it's a similar score here, but it's the under on Kyle Larson's 30 and a half NASCAR points. Going the opposite direction here for Larson, who's starting on the pole for this weekend's race. He's just typically not the greatest super speedway racer. If you're looking at the past several seasons for him since 2019 at super speedways, he has an average finish of 22.1, an average running position of 18.8, only one top five, only four top tens, which he's going to need to get a top 10 to be able to hit this prop bet, which I just do not see happening for him. Only six top 20s and five top 15. So I'm going to be going with the fade Larson approach here. I think he's a terrible DFS play, and I'm going to continue that as far as the betting space goes, especially over on prize picks, taking the under here at 30 and a half NASCAR points. If you're looking at what he's done specifically, so far this season, he did finish 4th at Talladega, but 30th at Atlanta, 32nd at Daytona, and 13th at Atlanta. So I feel pretty good about the under here for Kyle Larson not to get a top 10 finish. And the third and final prize picks prop that I am looking at for this weekend's race, it's going to be the over on Eric Amarillo's fantasy points, currently sitting at 40 and a half. He's starting pretty deep in the pack for this race, but he's one of the better super speed racers in the series, and you basically need him to get a top 15, top 16 finish, which he's done three out of four times this year. Looking at his actual finishes, Farrakh Amarillo finished 8th at Atlanta, 13th at Talladega, 22nd at Atlanta. This is the one where he would, would, would have missed, but then 5th at Daytona earlier in the season. And if you aggregate that together, that equals out to an average finish of 12th and an average running position of 15.5. And if you're dating back to the past few seasons of Super Speedways, Amarillo's got an average finish of 16.9, 6 top 10 finishes, and 9 top 15. And he also has something to race for for this weekend's race as he needs to win to get in for the playoffs. So that might be a bit risky where he's going to get his way towards the front and could potentially get up into a wreck. But if he stays clean during this race, I definitely think he's going to be a top 15 contender. And just to recap, I like the over on Ross Chastain, 31.5 NASCAR points. The under on Kyle Larson, 30.5 NASCAR points and the over on Eric Amarillo's 40 and a half fantasy points. I realize doing a power play is quite enticing here, but with the nature of the beast at Daytona, a lot of high variance, a lot of wrecks, a lot of carnage, it's very easy for one of these things that go south. I would highly recommend doing a flex play of these three picks. But with that being said, that's all I got for you this weekend. Make sure you use promo code AWESOME to take advantage of that awesome deal that we have over on the Stochastic website to get the instant deposit match bonus up to $100 in your free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. But I wish you all the best of luck, and I cannot wait for the race tonight.